I think the broadcast program really came together in terms of personnel when I began talking to Jacob Danielson. Jacob has a unique ability to look at people and see where they can do well. He's also brilliant when it comes to technology. And it's why he's the executive broadcast producer, because he is actually the one whose vision it has been to have this program. He was the one who came to me and said, let's go ahead and start live streaming games, which led to live streaming the Democratic Caucus, for example. He's the one who said to me, if you want the program to work, get Brandon Fairbanks. And Brandon has been really effective, I think, because he brings to the program video editing skills. And so, not only that, but he's also just really good with people. He works with individuals and helps them succeed, and he's got a great sense of humor. So that great sense of humor, it's a little like the oil in the machine. It helps keep the machine going. So the caucus was, I think, a turning point for the program. The way it happened was I mentioned to the kids that they might want to live stream the caucus. My wife and I were working the caucus, so I knew I'd be there. So Jacob took me up on it. He went ahead and he wrote the lead organizer for the caucus. He found out what she expected. He then went ahead and organized everything. And they did a lot behind the scenes. They went and rented a trailer and brought it from off island. They went ahead and spent the night in the trailer to make sure that things wouldn't get stolen. They were there. and. Best of all, what they did is they worked, they had, they set up an editing room within the trailer itself, and then they brought in some of the kids who generally didn't work with broadcast. We trained them, we put them in front of the camera, we let them ask questions, we had them practice asking questions on each other. Not only did it make them very aware of the democratic process, but it also gave them real experience of being reporters in front of a camera. And I think, as I said, I think it was a turning point for the program. And we're hoping to build on that next year. So what I'm aiming to do is give students the opportunity to build this program on their own. Rather than me saying, this is what we do, I've instead said, why don't you guys go ahead and see what you can come up with? And letting kids with their natural digital abilities, which they have, I mean, most of these students have never known a world without digital. They don't know what it's like to be without the internet. And so for that reason, that's the client we're going for.